Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Jonathan at GPU Audio, co-founder here, chief business officer. Um, I wanted to get in touch with you all and um, give you sort of a candid update. Um, you know, no, no TEF this time. Uh, this is my, my time to just kind of give you my generic video here from the office. Um, but anyways, today's a really exciting day because we finally have an early access update that we're releasing for you all. Um, this update is a long time coming. As you guys know, um, you know, the original early access vision was to create sort of a, a dirty version, I guess, of, of a plugin using GPU audio. Um, but what we decided to do is we went back to the drawing board for this new version and we actually used our entire, um, or almost the entire SDK, like the official GPU audio SDK to create this version. So there's a ton of under the hood, um, you know, developments, a lot of changes, a lot of new, uh, new features and stuff like that, that you're not going to see on the surface, but are underneath the surface that make this update the most cumulative um, update that we've ever released. And it also makes it the most complete that we've ever released. Um, as such, there's gonna be a little bit of instability, you know, over maybe like the next couple of weeks or so like that, but we are implementing a new um, hotfix uh, roadmap, which is gonna be really exciting. We'll talk more about that later. Um, essentially what it is is that, you know, since we're using our real SDK now, we can actually implement hotfixes, you know, over time uh, within quick succession, like within, you know, two or three updates a month potentially. So we're really excited about that because that's going to give us the ability to continually roll out new features and new, um, you know, all kinds of stuff, maybe new GUI designs, new ideas, um, even, uh, you know, Mac support, which will be really exciting to test out uh, later this summer or, or maybe in the fall, I think hopefully this summer. Um, but anyways, yeah, go ahead and download the new update as soon as it's up. It's, it's being uploaded right now, so it should be available on the Early Access uh, website within a few hours, I think. Uh, the web development team is still sleeping right now. As of right now, it's about 4 a.m. where they are at. So as soon as I think it's uploaded, go ahead and download it. Uh, just for your reminder, it's going to be version 0 0.15, uh, 0 0.15. Um, and if you go to the website here, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Uh, just go to Early Access. Uh, earlyaccess.gpu.audio and if you see here let's see if I can zoom in a little bit um, on the try it now you're going to see an updated GUI button here that's going to have AMD on there as well at some point uh, but once you click try it now it should log you in I'm logged in through my Google um, and then right here you're going to see it listed right now there's uh, 0 0.9.7 and 0 0.9.6 again this one's going to be 0 0.15 that's going to be uploaded um, so not to be confused with 0 0.1. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys are going to love it. Uh, there's a lot of cool features. One of the biggest features, um, is the AMD support. And there's a couple of specific things that we got to talk about in regards to that. Uh, we'll put out an informational video about it later, but for now, one of the most important things to realize about it is that, um, you know, the AMD support is kind of limited for right now because it's early access. It's, uh, it's better than experimental, but it's still not beta. So, um, you know, in the readme file that you guys are going to see, and it's already in the Discord, you can scroll down to uh, point four here, where we talk about the AMD GPUs that are supported. Um, hopefully you can see this whole thing on my screen here. Um, but once you get in there, you're going to see that, you know, uh, AMD gave us access to use their pro driver for this. So uh, what that means is that depending on your GPU, you're going to need to download a, um, a different driver than what is normally there. So the pro driver, um, you'll need to find the, the nearest equivalent to what the driver is that you're already using and get the pro version of it, okay? So in the readme, it's going to show you how to do that. Uh, the reason we put this in here is because on some laptops, what that means is that your consumer grade user driver will get disabled, uh, which may affect your resolution, you know, on the computer or like some of your desktop settings uh, temporarily while you're using the pro driver. Very simple though, then you can go back and just reinstall the driver afterwards. Um, so all the currently supported AMD GPUs are listed by architecture here. Um, there's definitely going to be a lot of models that are supported and not supported that are not in the list. Uh, we tried to make a list based on the architecture that's uh, supported through the AMD uh, Pro drivers. And so go ahead and use that as a, um, you know, as a reference. Um, under, under other experimental support, um, this is we might support GPUs with like a GCN version, less than 4.0, like Polaris, Volcanic Islands, etc. And there's a Wikipedia here that's going to give you a whole list of GPUs um, in that regard. So AMD was a real challenge, as you can see, um, but it's going really, really well. So we're excited about the performance. I think we're going to see great things. Um, so all of the other updates, let's talk real quick about what the uh, what some of the other, you know, updates in version uh, 0.15 are. 
So one of the things is better long buffer support. That's going to be really important for your performance. Um, you know, we're correctly responding to incompatible setup configurations, better context windows. Um, again, this was all rebuilt from the ground up, so it's using the SDK, so there's a lot of under the hood improvements that we didn't list here. Um, now, better support for various sample rates in buffer configurations. Um, we're still sort of recommending that 96 kilohertz and 96 samples is recommended, you know, for the early access period. Uh, but it's not, you know, such a hard-coded situation. So, um, you know, feel free to test the other stuff and let's see how much better it responds in this version. Um, lots of performance and bug fixes. Um, the audio hiccups on looping should be fixed. Uh, we ask you guys to please test that on all of your different DAWs. Um, you know, you know, on the other version, I think I was experiencing that on pretty much all of the, the DAWs, but on this one, let's see what happens. Um, We've also got, obviously, the AMD GPU early access support. Um, one of the big features of this one is better single GPU support. Um, now you can start trying to run some of your plugins at low latency together with OBS, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, just remember, in OBS, it only runs at 48, so you might want to set your DAW to 48 as well to get best performance. But single GPU support was a really hotly uh, um, requested feature, so we decided to work really hard on trying to make that better and better. And we're going to continue to iterate on this well into beta. Um, one of the other really cool features that's in here um, that I wanted to make sure to note in the README, again, I didn't put all the features because a lot of it's under the hood, um, but the fast rendering support. So the idea of fast rendering is that, you know, when you're exporting your file at the end of a session, like in Reaper, where you render it out, um, you know, we can actually expect to render things maybe three to 10 times faster if you're loaded up with GPU audio plugins. So in the future, that might mean that you have a whole session um, of GPU powered plugins, you know, from compressors and delays to effects to like spatial audio stuff, reverbs, um, even synthesizers like VSTIs and stuff like that. Um, so for now, what we're hoping you guys can do is maybe help us out by testing, uh, you know, load up like tens or, you know, maybe like a hundred GPU FIR convolvers running on timeline uh, of at least 10 minutes long, render it, and then do the same thing, but put on like a CPU based plugin. So what we're hoping to see is that we can actually render again, like three to 10 X uh, faster using this case. Um, once the really exciting stuff is when we get rid of the VST uh, three limitations. So when we can either resolve those limitations on VST three, you know, hint, hint Steinberg, hello, where are you? Um, respond to the emails, or uh, maybe if we move on to another format, like let's say clap, you know, or something like that, or AAX, but specifically clap, you know, we can safely assume that the, the speeds will be potentially up to 20 to 40 X faster, uh, depending on the case. So reason is, is because in console tests, when we're testing this outside of the wrapper of the VST three, we're getting incredible performance. We're going from, you know, 150 instances of a reverb to over 2000 instances, right? So that's crazy. We understand that that's crazy. Uh, let's see what we can do with clap this year. I, I have a really good feeling about that. Um, so all of the same workarounds, um, a lot of the workarounds that you guys experienced, you know, the fixes, thanks to our users, uh, lots of people, you know, shouted us out and gave us a lot of good feedback in the discord. A lot of those workarounds are not going to be necessary anymore. So as we go over the next two weeks, I'm going to be updating the documentation a lot. Um, so kind of keep an eye out on the channels in there, uh, like the forums channel and then the resources channel. We're going to update things as much as possible, try to stay uh, up to speed, up to date on all of that stuff for you guys. And as always, you know, keep filling out the bug forms, uh, you know, the bug or like, you know, uh, crash forms and stuff like that are super important. Eventually we will have, uh, you know, crash management and stuff built in also. So we got a bunch of other updates planned. Um, but anyways, that's my kind of impromptu, you know, rundown of what's going on for now. Um, I think you guys are really going to love, you know, what's coming. Um, lots of, lots of cool stuff planned. Um, when beta comes out, beta is going to be especially awesome, you know, cause there's going to be all of these plugins coming out. Um, we actually, I'll make a separate video about this, but we actually have five different bundles of beta plugins that are going to come out. And each one of those bundles is sort of, uh, geared towards a certain type of processing. Uh, for instance, um, you know, I think I even have it listed on our YouTube channel in the description. Uh, but one of them is, you know, compressors. And then one of them is like frequency, uh, you know, um, frequency analysis. And then the other is, uh, modulation bundle. So there's bundles, you know, depending on the types of algorithms that are being used. And you know, we did that on purpose again to, to test it. So, 
Um, this is an exciting time for us. Thank you again for being part of Early Access. And um, hello again from Irvine. I'm down here in beautiful Southern California enjoying the summer and working hard for you guys. So thank you for working hard for us and being part of our community. Um, you know, make sure you drop into the Introduce Yourself channel and say hi if you haven't already. Um, we're also going to keep working with our live stream um, stuff that we're doing with the company. That's especially exciting. Uh, this week we have NVIDIA on board for the for the talk. Uh, Jeremy Crinnett, Senior Developer Relations Manager, amazing guy, super smart, uh, going to talk to us about how audio fits into the NVIDIA ecosystem. You know, in the future, I'm really pumped about that. In the next week, we actually have the CEO of Mach 1 Technologies, uh, Jacqueline. She's going to be joining us talking about the future of spatial audio and not just about GPU audio, but she does happen to be uh, creating their next gen of plugins with the GPU audio uh, um, so software stack. So anyways, yeah, exciting times, lots going on. Um, hit me up if you need anything. I'm Riku in the Discord. You can feel free to send me a message anytime. Um, I always screen the messages though, so if I don't uh, respond to you, maybe you might look like a bot, so make sure you say something to prove you're not a robot, like, you know, name my favorite color, which happens to be uh, turquoise. So let's just do that. Okay, guys, have a great day. I'm going to get back to work here, and I uh, really appreciate you being part of our community and for taking an interest in GPU audio. So thanks again. And to all the developers out there, um, thank you again also for your patience. The SDK is forthcoming, and we'll update you about that soon. All right, have a nice day, everybody. Bye.